It's Brittany, bitch. Okay. Uh, While well, you've been doing it. Yeah, it's the 1620. <laughs> All these numbers exactly. Yeah. Uh... And you don't want to do uh, any color or. Um... Right, of course not. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's a ghost in this office. Really? A woman was murdered on this very floor in 1816. Hattie McGonagall. She was a prostitute. Why was she in this building? No, I mean, this whole place used to be a brothel. There was a tavern on the ground floor. That's crazy. Yeah, isn't it? She was bludgeoned to death by the business end of a riding crop. Oh, my God. Oh, it was gruesome. They say she walks these hallways. If you ever feel a tapping on your shoulder, mm. that could be Hattie begging for her life. And it could mean that you're next. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And you wanted uh, three hole punch or no? <laughs> Can you, um, you know, I'm gonna give you a call back. Something just came up in the office. Thanks so much. Bye. You finding everything okay? Yeah. yeah. Got some ice. <laughs> nope, this is awkward. Nope. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> fight somewhere else, maybe? You would totally be dead. Come on, you couldn't survive that. That's not realistic. All your organs were just vaporized. You would die. put a grenade in your mouth. Thank you. Nice. Well done, sir. Hey, everybody, keep it down. Jim's taking a nap. Keep it down. The... When I saw you talking to Aaron earlier, I noticed that your pupils dilated and your skin flushed. And I'm assuming a little bit of blood rushed into your penis. <laughs> I like that song. You're good. You're good. Thank you. That was great, but it's just sort of, it's still a little choppy. Like, but don't worry, it's hard. I mean, it took me a while, too. It's like, okay. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, my god, you heard that? I'm so embarrassed. I'm so, like, rusty. It's good. You're really coming along. It's really technically proficient, but, you know, there's really no heart or soul in it. Really? and found has gone missing. It itself is lost. So please try not to lose anything until we find it. <laughs> but what about those leads? Did you hear anything from corporate? Ah, yes, the leads. The leads that Sabre has spent $50,000 to get from a market research company are not here yet, oh, but will be. Oh, damn it. Eddie, nice. Let me just, let me write that down real quick. Pencil. Give me a pencil. Hang, hang on, Teddy. I'm making a sale. Mm -hmm. Sales. Mm -hmm. I saw the pencils in his office. Yeah, I... May I have?
have everyone's attention, please? Gabe has instructed me to hand out the leads. So I am going to give the leads to King Creed. What are you? And to King Meredith. They are not salespeople. And to King Angela. Because today we are all kings and queens. What the hell do you think you're doing? I am giving them the leads, Phyllis. Man, can you believe what some people are doing trying to get these leads? I want $10,000 or 15 million lira, your choice. Listen, Queen, I'll give you something worth 10 times that. 30 one-hour voice or tap lessons, plus a two-day intensive workshop in stage combat. $500. No way. <sighs> can I resell the tap lessons? Yeah. Deal. Yes. You can see yourself out. Hey, I guess you probably won't give me your leads since I'm a jerk salesman. Yeah, I basically wish you were dead. I hit the leads. Where? Colder. 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 Warmer. 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 Hot. Hotter. Burning hot. Lower. Are you lower? Are you sure? Lower. <laughs> Clean sack. What? I emptied it in the dumpster. It had Toby's Baba Ganoush. It's empty! Wait, what day is today? Um, tonight is Ghost Whisperer, so Friday. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, no! Hey, hey! Wait! Wait! Hola! What? You got any more of those awesome leads? Did somebody close all their deals? Yeah, actually, a lot of those guys did. My leads are still thinking about it, though. How about, guys, 1% commission a month instead of two? What do you think? No, no, we agreed 2% for the quarter. Yes. OK. Hey, everybody. Nice spread. We get it. You eat like royalty. No, no. This is a representation of how we feel. And how we feel is really sorry. Yeah, we wanted to bring you in and make a peace offering. Yeah, we wanted to do the right thing, so. Way to go, guys. This, this, this was an integrity move. Yeah. When we walked in here, we were all prepared to tell you to go to hell. Do you have any pastries without fruit? Yes, we do. Eclairs. Ooh, ooh. Well, you better be happy taking 2% of that. 2% milk, what yeah. I forgot for the coffee. Yeah, mm. treats, Stanley. They've accepted our simple offer of treats only, nothing more. So. Oh. This is nice. All of us back together. <laughs> The good news that you found our leads? No, better. We have an awesome beanbag chair that's perfect for the break room. Ugh, we're going to sit on that disgusting seat. Yeah, damn right you're not, because it's for me and Michael only. Yeah! It's freezing out here. Yeah. Juan, I have warm blood. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, thank you. You're the nicest person I've ever met. Last week, Aaron told me that our relationship will be proceeding without me. Hey, you got a sec to talk? Kind of painful to chat with you, Pete. Ever since the old one-two punch to my scrotum pole. Translation, penis. Translation, my manhood. Yeah. Look, uh, I understand breakups are tough. You know, it happens to all of us at some point in life. But you gotta move on. Great advice. Thank you. You can leave now. Listen to him, Andy. He's trying to tell you something that you really need to hear. Awesome perspective. Thanks for butting in. W well, I've been where you are now. I dated this girl, Alice, and it was an ugly breakup. She worked at a marketing agency right next to my house. I'd run into her every day, but I had to grow up and deal with it. 
And I did. We're even Facebook friends now. See? We can all be friends. Yeah. Just get over it. It doesn't have to be awkward. Hi. Hi. I'm here from BCI Marketing Consultants to meet with Andrew Bernard. Oh, yes. The consultant. Andy said you can start right away, so I will take you to your desk. Okay. okay. Great. Thanks. Fresh meat. Fresh meat. Just keep walking. Don't give her anything. She'll take it and run. I'm Erin, by the way. Nice to meet you. Good sweater. Oh, thanks. Your shoes match. I'm bad at small talk. I'm Kevin. Pete? <laughs> Alice. It's uh, been a while, huh? Oh, did you know each other? Yeah, we uh, have a history. History, wow, okay. We dated for two years. <laughs> That's so random. Well, <laughs> is it? Andy also hired a management consultant today. Hey, Aaron, look who's back, the Birdman. Hello, beautiful. Didn't you two used to do it? We absolutely did. Thank you for remembering that. She's looking good. Mm. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hi. Good. I'd love to discuss strategy with you if you have a wow, marketing... Wow, this sure is intense. Having to share a workspace with someone you used to get it down with. Andy, that is really inappropriate. Awkward. It is awkward. This is a really uncomfortable situation that you've contrived. Really uncomfortable situation? You know, times were tough. I was unemployed. I was still heartbroken over you. I lost a good 50 pounds. But as you can see, I put all that weight right back on. I feel how fat my buttocks are. It's crazy. Touch it, it's like a warm pumpkin. So Andy just called you up out of the blue? Yeah. He told me you two broke up. Yeah. You must be pretty horny. Thank you all for coming in. Just wanted to check in. How was everyone's day? <sighs> Honestly, it was a little weird. Really? Hmm, that's interesting. Because Aaron and Pete thought it wouldn't be weird at all. Why do you think it was weird, Gabe? Maybe because you and Aaron used to be an item? I still wear Aaron's button bands around the condo sometimes, so it feels to me like we're still in a relationship. Gabe. And Alice, uh, I understand you once dumped Pete. Ouch. It was an amicable breakup, Andy. <laughs> okay, while we're rewriting history, you never had a drinking problem. It was college. That is what you do. Yeah, you're also supposed to go to classes, so there's that. Hey, Andy, is this at all work-related? We'll get to that. Gabe, did Erin ever tell you that she loves you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she wouldn't even let me say it. It was adorable. She'd plug her ears and scream her heart out. <laughs> Can you stop talking? Because every word out of your mouth is like the squawk of an ugly pelican. I got a tattoo for you. I didn't ask you to get that Nike swoosh. Nobody did. You did that for you. Just do it. You were the it that I was just doing. So you're dating a secretary now? <laughs> Moving up in the world, Pete. What kind of music are you into, Peter? Uh, I like all kinds of music, Gabe. Really? All kinds? So you like Songs of Hate, <laughs> written by the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan? No! Aaron, are you even no, hearing this? Gabe, he didn't even say that. He's not a very sophisticated man. I mean, he can't use chopsticks, so <laughs> do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Aaron, I've been to Japan. I know how to use chopsticks so well. One night. Gabe, I Give don't me want one night with What is that supposed to be? Is that everything? supposed to be? I don't want you to share I wasted like two years of my you life on you. You realize that, right? I just want to be real clear Why that chopsticks is not the measure of a man. Okay. I am as no, smooth as a porpoise for you. Does making Aaron and Pete feel bad make me feel better? He's a simian fool. No, he's and he's... not. Yeah. Yeah. It does.